Rode are no longer making the NT1 or the NT1A, but what they're replacing it with is like nothing you've seen before. We all know the legacy of the NT1 and the NT1A. For decades, they've been a staple for recording studios, both for home studios and for professionals. That's because they're versatile, they're reliable, and most importantly, the sound is fantastic. But what they're moving on to is really exciting. This is the NT1 fifth generation. Now, as you can imagine, this does everything the NT1 and the NT1A were known for, but the enhancements that they've built into it really are quite staggering. Just like the previous generations, this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone with a cardioid pattern. Uh, the NT1 fifth generation is the first to feature dual connect. So of course it's got the usual analog output if you want to use XLR, but there's also a USB-C digital output. And along with that come a few really exciting new features. Uh, the first one is that you can record 32-bit floating point recordings on this microphone, which is absolutely a game changer. And we're gonna get into how that works a little later on. And this would also replace the NT1 kit. And the reason for that is that the NT1 fifth generation actually has an interface built into the microphone. Not just an interface, but an interface with Aphex audio processing. Aphex audio processing includes a compressor, noise gate, high pass filter, the oral exciter and big bottom effects, all built right into the microphone. The NT1 fifth gen also features exceptionally low self noise, so 4 dBA. And along with that, we've got the Revolution preamp. So the SBL capabilities of this microphone are absolutely incredible. In fact, this makes it the quietest large diaphragm studio microphone in the world. So at first, 32-bit floating point recording will sound a bit like magic. So let's just look at the difference between 24-bit that we're all used to and 32-bit floating point. Uh, with 24-bit recording, you have a fixed dynamic range. Now, if you clip your signal, that part of the signal that's been clipped is not recoverable. You can't get back detail, but when it comes to 32-bit floating point, they take several analog to digital converters that all run in parallel. Now, it's like recording the same signal at several different gain levels all at once, and then intelligently stitching them back together. What this means effectively is that clipping your recording will become a thing of the past. So we're actually gonna do a demonstration of this. When you get your hands on this microphone, please try this for yourself. Make sure you're set up in your DAW at 32-bit floating point. Right, so here we go. As you can see, I've got my input levels here. I'm gonna crank it all the way up. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. So, as you can tell, I have really clipped my recording. And in a 24-bit situation, this would mean redoing it. However, Thanks to the 32-bit floating point, I can just normalize my recording, bring those levels down, and as you can see, all my detail is still there. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. No clipping. This is just something you have to witness for yourself absolutely amazing when we received the microphone we grabbed a friend of ours a singer songwriter we put him on the couch and we had him play a bit and the results really were stunning uh, that noise floor being so low at 4 dba along with the high sbl capabilities of this microphone means that it's such a pleasure just to pop it on get going find the sound you like and walk away with the results you're really proud of and of course, if you do want to check out how that sounded, you can check the link in the description. As you can tell, this is one of the most exciting microphones to come out in years. It's got everything we loved about the legendary NT1 and the NT1A and the kit. But these enhancements are so exciting and something we haven't seen in microphones of this type before. The classic features of ultra low self noise, high SBL performance, there's nothing not to love about the new NT1 5th gen. But as always, try it for yourself because it's absolutely worth it.